Hey guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. Apple's screen sharing app has been around for a while, but with the release of macOS Sonoma, Apple has moved it to the Utilities folder in Applications. When you open the app, you'll see a list of the computers you recently connected to. To connect to a new computer, click on the plus icon and type in the Apple ID of the person who owns the computer. If the person is in your contacts list and assuming you have their Apple ID in their contact details, you can simply type their name instead of the email address. For this demonstration, I'm going to connect to James's laptop. I'll type his name and click connect. At this point, James receives a notification letting him know that I wish to connect to his computer. He simply clicks on the drop down menu to either accept or decline the connection. If you receive a notification from someone you're not familiar with, you also have the option to block them. Having accepted the invite, James then has the option to either let me take control of his computer or just observe his screen without the ability to click anything. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose to take control and click accept. James's computer screen now appears on my own screen and I can use my mouse to do anything I need to on his machine, such as launch applications and view documents. At any time, James can pause the connection by clicking on the screen sharing icon in the menu bar. Here, he also has the option to mute the microphone, so I won't be able to hear any of the sounds coming from his machine. With the connection temporarily paused, James can then work on his Mac without me being able to see what he's doing. So for example, he can quickly reply to a message in private, and then when he's ready to continue, he clicks on the menu bar icon again to resume. You also have the ability to copy files from the remote computer and vice versa. So here is a text file which I can copy to my own desktop simply by dragging and dropping it like so. Apple then pops up a handy list of the recently transferred documents. Copying it back to the remote computer is just as easy. Simply drag and drop it where you wish to save it. You can also copy and paste the contents of your own or the remote computer's clipboard. If I open the file and copy the text from it, I can then open my own document on my own computer and paste the text into it like so. You also have the ability to take screenshots of the remote computer by clicking on connection in the menu and choosing save screen capture as. Choose where you wish to save your capture and there we are, the screenshot is saved to my desktop. To disconnect the session, James simply needs to click on the menu bar icon again and choose end screen sharing. And there we are, the session has ended. Finally, it's also worth mentioning that you can initiate these screen sharing sessions from various different apps such as iMessage and FaceTime. Click on the information icon and you should see this option to share. You can then choose between sharing your own screen with the person you're chatting with or asking to share their screen. They will again receive a notification to accept or decline the connection. So that is how to remotely access another Mac. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's a quick guide to using the new standby mode on your iPhone and a quick way to remove unwanted people or objects from your photos. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.